I wanted to give a quick project update on the Honda CRX splash guard. First off, I want to say thank you to everyone who watched my previous video. Um, there were tons of comments, people saying they wanted a set, people saying they wanted to, to do a manufacturing run. Can they buy the 3D model from me? Uh, just huge response, uh, more than I've ever gotten on any of my other videos. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, so I'm here to answer some of those questions in this video. The answer is no, I'm not doing a manufacturing run. The answer is no, you can't buy the 3D model from me because I'm releasing it for free. If you check the link in the description of the video, I've already uploaded it to Thingiverse. So there are STL formats and there are SolidWorks files in case you wanna go in and edit it yourself. I've uploaded versions with and without the Honda logo and um, for the passenger and driver side. So essentially this just inverted for the other side with the logo flipped correctly. So do with it what you will. I wanna kind of just give it back to the CRX community. And if anyone, you know, actually ever makes these things, you know, hook me up with a set. That said, um, what we're looking at here so obviously the OEM one here, the one from my last video in the middle, and this is one I ordered from an online 3D printing service. Now, uh, the reason I ordered this from an online printing service is because they're able to print a much bigger print volume than I am. So this was all printed as one solid piece, and I think this is in um, ABS plastic. So this would actually do much better than PLA out in the open weather. Um, out in the UV sunlight as well. So probably lasting longer. You can see here the layer lines that they printed this in a different orientation than I did. So the print quality is very good. The layer lines still pretty visible, um, but it's really great to see this all as one piece. And I was also doing it to just kind of check that to make sure that the um, SolidWorks files also printed correctly and there were no issues there and that the scale matched and it does. So the layer lines are still really visible in this version, and I don't know if there's a way that you can just order this at a much higher print quality, but I would say this really isn't cost effective. Um, if you can print it at home, do it at home. This one, the single one, cost $130 printed and shipped. I will keep this. Maybe one day I'll print one for the, or order one for the other side, just so I have you know my own set of 3D printed ones. Um, but that's really expensive. You're talking about $260 for a set of these. Um, so the same website that I got the 3D printing done for this one uh, called Zometry. I also got a quote for actually doing a manufacturing run for these. They quoted me, I think it was $8,000 for a run of 200 units, I believe. And that wouldn't be traditional injection molding. Um, that would be, I think, silicone injection molding. So instead of actually CNC milling an aluminum injection mold, the two halves that they then inject the plastic into, they actually make a soft mold, which they can do from a 3D printed part. So they 3D print the part, they create a silicone mold that they then can injection mold or pour um, liquid plastic into so it actually um, fills correctly. Now seeing this 3D printed one pr printed as one solid piece without the, the three panel separations I had to do for my print volume, it does um, look much more promising to me that you could use some body filler, um, fill this in, and really sand it down smooth. So I would honestly recommend not printing it with the Honda logo for that reason. The Honda logo is cool and all. You could actually print it separately and attach it after the fact. But having these letters on there and trying to smooth and finish the really nice lofted curved surfaces is going to be a huge pain with that logo in the way. So I would say print it, print the, um, the blank version and finish it yourself and then, you know, attach the Honda logo or just run them blank. I think actually from the factory, um, the logo isn't even painted white, so it's really not that visible. I have a set of rears that are OEM on my CRX, and it's just raised black lettering. It's not even white. So somebody actually painted these uh, before I purchased them. I painted mine for the 3D printed set from the last video just to kind of do a one-to-one -one match. 
So I think if I was gonna continue down this path, I would probably print the blank ones. Much easier to finish in the future. So if anyone ends up 3D printing one of these and finishing it out and installing it on your car, I would absolutely love to see a video of that. So reach out, throw me a link in a description of one of my other videos. If you do that, I'd love to see it. Thanks again for the support on the last video. It was by far my most successful video so far, and um, it was great to put that much effort into making a video and then, and then get a, a good response from it as well. So if you like this project and you um, ended up downloading the 3D printed file, I think the best thing you can do just to support this channel is subscribe. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.